2022 was a huge year in U.S.-India relations. Uh, and we think we have an even bigger year ahead in 2023. We at the White House, uh, the entire administration, certainly President Biden, see this as among the most consequential relationships for the United States anywhere in the world. Looking around the world, uh, when the United States and President Biden uh, look for partners that can truly help carry the load, uh, truly help move forward uh, a global agenda, India and Prime Minister Modi are very high on that list. 2022 was a huge year in U.S.-India relations, uh, and we think we have an even bigger year ahead in 2023. We have the Quad Summit on the agenda coming up. We have India's uh, G20 presidency, which I know we're all looking forward to, including Prime Minister Modi. We have two uh, plus two Quad ministerials taking place with our Secretaries of State uh, and Defense and India's uh, Foreign Secretaries and Ministers of Defense uh, this spring. We will be relaunching the CEO Dialogue, and I know there probably are participants in that event uh, uh, present with us today. Uh, we will be launching a critical and emerging technology dialogue early in 2023. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, there is much, much more on the agenda. Uh, 2022 into 2023, uh, both a, a highly accomplished year and, a, and an even bigger year to come, is really emblematic of how this relationship has proceeded for decades now. Uh, we at the White House, uh, the entire administration, certainly President Biden, see this as among the most consequential relationships for the United States anywhere in the world, uh, but also, almost uniquely, uh, one of the re relationships that still retains uh, some of the greatest potential to continue to evolve and strengthen uh, and improve, and we are deeply committed uh, to doing just that. It's easy to see why that is the case. Uh, at a time uh, that can be extremely difficult uh, to forge a bipartisan consensus in Washington on almost anything, there is a strong bipartisan consensus in support of the U.S.-India relationship and has been uh, for decades, and a high degree of continuity uh, from one administration to the next. There is obviously uh, an increasing alignment of our interests, uh, both geopolitically uh, and as two uh, world-leading democracies. And then, of course, uh, there is what is represented uh, most evidently here today, the deep ties and incredible di uh, dynamism of our diaspora community, our cultural ties, our commercial ties. And then finally, and I don't want this uh, to, to be lost, there is uh, the ties of our leadership, which we consider to be hugely important. Looking around the world, uh, when the United States and President Biden uh, look for partners that can truly help carry the load, uh, truly help move forward uh, a global agenda, India and Prime Minister Modi are very high on that list. We just saw this in real time at the G20, where the Prime Minister was instrumental in forging uh, a consensus around a joint statement among uh, a far-flung group of countries. And in the comments and work that the Prime Minister has done and others in the Indian government have done to highlight the increasing uh, risk uh, related to nuclear issues.